Colin, we should start. Yeah, okay. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar, webinar on consumer insights for business in the new world. Over the last few days, we have witnessed several sessions on manufacturing, design, retail, policy, compliance, and supply chain. The stakeholder that would drive the demand for all businesses around the world post COVID-19 is the consumer. That is why it was important to touch upon this new changed and transformed consumer and share the learnings on how this pandemic will permanently change behavior, attitudes, and expectations globally in the context of diamonds, gold, and platinum. I take this opportunity to welcome our distinguished speakers and panelists for today. Firstly, we have Sachin Jain, who is passionate about the art of marketing and believes that diamonds will always be on top of the consumer's mind, no matter what. President at Forever Mark, Debeer Sachin, effortlessly juggles between multiple responsibilities while spearheading the business affairs of the brand. He leads the growth and formation of Forever Mark in the Indian subcontinent, including all parts of India, Middle East, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Nepal. The marketing guru, if I may say so, and today his look also is that of a guru, ensures that India's appetite for diamonds will never diminish. Vaishali Banerjee, Managing Director, Platinum Guild India, is clearly a rule breaker. She wrote a narrative for Indians whose legendary love for gold is only too well known. Today, platinum has become an obvious choice for most Indians to celebrate bonds between couples and the family. She herself is a brand ambassador for platinum and you will never see her without any platinum jewelry. I'm sure she's wearing even five pieces of platinum jewelry today. Som Sundram PR joined the World Gold Council in 2013 and as Managing Director is responsible for leading the World Gold Council's activities around the Indian gold market. He's a Chartered Accountant and Cost Accountant by profession. So that's like a double degree in this industry of ours. I'm sure uh, very few people have that. And Som, as he, as he is fondly called, has a vast experience of over 30 years across diverse industries, including the FMCG and banking sector. Som used to be the CEO of Lakshmi Vilas Bank, MD of the Standard Chartered Securities Arm, and has headed several divisions in Hindustan Lever. As head of WGC, Som believes that post-COVID, we will all have to reach out to a brand new breed of consumer who will increasingly see gold as one of the safest havens for investors. Shekhar Banerjee is the Chief Client Officer, best at Wavemaker India. Shekhar has been part of the key leadership team at Wavemaker India since 2018. He has worked across many leading brands such as Vodafone, Marico, Godrej, Asian Paints, Coke, McDonald's, and is a postgraduate from MICA. Soumya Mohanty is the Chief Client Officer, South Asia, Insights Division, Kanta. She brings with her over half a decade of experience in market research and consumer behavior across sectors. Soumya also has a keen interest in the application of translating analytics and using multi-source data for compelling business decisions. So uh, with this very esteemed panel that we have today, we are trying to give uh, in the next one hour uh, insight into how the consumer has changed post-COVID globally and in India and what impact this will have on our business. So over to you, uh, Soumya, now for your uh, presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Colin. And uh, what I'm going to do over the next uh, 15 minutes or so is uh, share my, uh, just give me a moment, like, and what are the shifts that are happening in consumer attitudes and behaviors and are therefore, how do we plan for growth in these uncertain times? And the future is obviously uncertain, right? We don't know when will, uh, uh, growth recover, and we don't know whether it will happen again. If we see from the standpoint of uh, any business, and particularly uh, the business that, uh, uh, that all of you are in, which is uh, luxury or discretionary products, if I may say so, uh, there are three big questions that, that, that are in front of us. One is how will people allocate monies? How will people shop? And uh, how do we uh, build trust in an uncertain world. So these are the three questions that I will try through data uh, to provide some directions for. The data that I'm going to show here is data that we have been collecting uh, for some time now before the start of lockdown. 
And uh, till now, we have done about three rounds of uh, collection of information on how consumers are feeling about COVID and about uh, what, they, what, what they want to buy, what they don't want to buy, and how they see the future. Uh, we have been doing this in about 60 odd countries. And if we start with the first question, which is around uh, how are they going to allocate money? The, the first point is, are they going to have the money to allocate? Uh, in contrast to the West, Asia is more optimistic about economic recovery. And this is consumer sentiment. So to that extent, uh, this not doesn't really reflect uh, the reality of what they may have to spend versus what they want to do. But in general, Asia is more optimistic than Western Europe. And within Asia, there are countries that are more optimistic than India. I must say, when we started this, which was pre-lockdown, the optimism was higher. And uh, in about two odd weeks, it has actually declined. And the concerns around financial security have actually grown. So here you see a gray uh, bar and a blue bar. So the blue bar is actually the one that was done after the lockdown and the gray was just before the lockdown. And the blue has clearly increased uh, across job security, financial preparedness, and the view that there is going to be economic recession. And it's more so among the older working population. So as it extends further, uh, we'll have to see how this progresses. And in line with that, what the customer is saying is that I'm more likely to save. It's intuitive, uh, but the numbers are uh, quite large. So 46% are actually saying they are likely to save more. And the, and the ones who are really worried about job security are even more likely to say that they will save more. So while optimism is higher than West, it is declining. And concerns about job, concerns about whether I will have adequate money are increasing, and especially so among those who actually spend that money. So in this context, what is likely to happen is the shape of demand is likely to shift. Uh, there are three categories that you see here. One is the category which we are calling value decline. These are categories of services and products where the customer is saying that in future, I am either going to delay buying it or I'm going to spend less on it. And a lot of stuff is here, flying, holidays, all high-end discretionary purchases pretty much make it here. The second category is where they are saying, I will spend the same. So I'm not going to drop my spends. I will remain in the same zone. And what comes here, and, and, and interestingly, they are able to differentiate between a, you know, home furniture and home furnishing. So uh, the higher uh, ticket item is in the decline zone, while the lower ticket furnishing comes into the, I'll, I'll maintain my spends. What is important is investment products are where they are seeing themselves maintaining their spend. So financial protection products, financial investments are sitting here. So is smartphone. The third category where there are not too many categories right now is where they are saying they will spend more. And these are the roti, kapra, makan, uh, food essentials, health spending, and of course, hygiene, which has sort of gone through the roof right now. And what happens to jewelry? Now we actually ask them about jewelry and watches. Uh, as of the moment, it is more in the spending less in future zone. It's about two thirds of them are saying I will spend less. This is, this is a sentiment. So it, it evolves with time. Uh, it is right now looking forward. They are not able to see themselves spend more. But what is interesting is when we ask them the same question, but we ask them through the lens of a context. So we don't ask them, will you spend more on jewelry? But we ask them, you know, when you think of your wedding function, your uh, or your family's wedding, are you likely to spend? They're actually less likely to say that they will spend less. What this means is building on a context or an occasion strongly could be a game changer, even for discretionary uh, items like jewelry and watches. But not all occasions will remain equally important. Some occasions which are more around gifting, someone else's wedding, birthday, engagement will go down in the priority order. So maybe at this point in time, it's important to build depth and to own a certain context or an occasion rather than spread yourself thin to try and look for how can I look for opportunities across. If we put this entire thing in a framework, a good framework to use is the Maslow's hierarchy. Uh, 
Maslow's hierarchy starts with your basic needs, your physiological needs, the atadal needs, and then moves on to safety and so on. The last at the uppermost is self-actualization. What is happening today is it is the physiological and safety products and categories that are getting prioritized over the self-actualization and esteem products. Now, this does make it difficult for discretionary or luxury items to, uh, to sort of see a, see a very uh, rosy future. But if we think in terms of portfolio and not in terms of a single category, and we see whether it's possible for us to have offers that span the hierarchy, even within that same high value spend, we could probably uh, you know, recast the category. So lighter jewelry, for example, uh, love and belonging, that could be the first thing that comes back and, and so on. Because the fundamental challenge when it comes to, uh, you know, when it comes to whether the consumer, the demand will come back is how well are you able to, as a category, serenade the consumer? Can you create desire? Because remember, when they come out, if you see that upper end of it, there are a lot of discretionary items vying for the wallet. How do you, uh, sorry, I'm sorry. How do you stay? How do you stay and how do you make them believe that this is the category for me is going to be the biggest challenge? And this data is actually saying that middle class in India is middle class because they identify themselves as middle class, not because they earn the money that uh, qualifies them as middle class. So it's how do you create aspiration once again in an in a economy that is getting used to scarcity is the big question. Coming to shopping. A leapfrog to e-commerce is going to accelerate across categories. This is not new news. This will happen simply because there is no option. Uh, so 18% are actually saying they have bought things for the first time online. And a lot of things that they were not buying online, they have started buying online. Uh, but the bigger point is, when you ask them, what are the kind of things that they will look for when they are shopping? There are three big themes that are emerging. One is value consciousness. The second is... Uh, seeking comfort in the brands that they normally buy. So 59%, two thirds are saying, I will buy the regular brand. And the third is attention to the origin of the product. So in terms of implication, uh, a customer targeting and retention strategy, CRM strategies are going to be important even when, even if you are in a, you know, even if you are in an FMCG business, uh, but for a business like yours, probably it's even more, it's probably easier to build, build upon this compared to uh, packaged goods. The second implication would be to look for new value models. Can they be subscription-based value models that can be bought into play? And the third would be uh, leveraging the make in India and the origin advantage that's going to stay for some time. And of course, as retailers, we have examples of what different retailers are doing across the world from Walmart to Starbucks. Uh, the, they are looking at how do I Essentially, how do I maintain social distancing, but also how do I spur appointment buying? Because the, fund, the, the, the part that is going to drop is the browse and buy. That will impact apparel, that will impact uh, jewelry, that will impact watches. The question, therefore, is how do I plant myself in the customer's mind so that he seeks an appointment to come to my store? And to, and to do that, it starts with how do I create desire? upstream. The third part of what I wanted to talk about is how do we build trust in, a, in an environment where the customer does not trust uh, his or her neighbor. So the top three priorities that they are saying they expect from brands is to be practical and realistic and help customers in everyday life to demonstrate that this crisis can be fought and to be an example and guide the change. These are the three things they are looking for. So where do we, where can we play as a brand is what we need to figure out. And how, how do you build trust in this kind of an environment? There are three uh, big themes. One is to do what you say, which is to be authentic, to be real. The second is to create an open and honest atmosphere, truly show compassion, not for the sake of showing it, but truly be compassionate. And the third is, I mean, just be decent. Uh, uh, you know, all advertising is looking the same right now. So to a great extent, it looks like there is an attempt to just use the virus to, uh, to pretty much say the same thing. Uh, if we don't have anything to say, it's better not to say, but uh, customers will call out if they feel that we are saying something that's not true and honest. 
authenticity is under scrutiny we man richard branson and you know he is taking asking his staff to go on unpaid leave got a huge backlash so let's just say what we can do or not say anything at all because if your customers don't trust you to think and act humanely right now when this subsides what will they think about you is is, is a big question so from the in, in india 47% are actually saying brands should be an example to guide the change and 63% are saying two thirds are saying it should be helpful in my everyday life now helpful in my everyday life is where the packaged kind of categories can play the fmcg categories can play but for uh, discretionary categories higher end categories uh, it's important for us to uh, show something which uh, which uh, they feel uh, that you are the light that is shining on their path at this moment which seems very dark and i mean this is i i thought this was this is from one from one of our surveys that we have done uh, i said dutch customer who said this that you know this company says they care about sustainability but they leave the lights on so it's just something like that and in that context i felt this tata initiative i just came to know about it yesterday uh, was an excellent initiative because what it does it it tells you that you can place the order it helps the artisans and then you can uh, get it uh, get the delivery later so there is there is that element of inclusion there is that element of i am doing my bit uh, for the society and there is a practicality to the entire thing as well um uh, brand z is a piece that kanta does regularly which uh, which values brands globally and in india in terms of both their financial valuation as well as their equity and what we believe so these are like the stages in the stages of brand development there is impact that you can deliver at different stages uh, societal tends to be at the you know at the highest end of it uh, and it was always a good good thing to have its corporate reputation was a good thing to have no more it is something that has to become now the core of what you do because the brands that make positive difference at this time are actually showing the highest growth in brand value in equity terms may not be in financial terms as yet so at this point uh, what we can definitely say with certainty is think portfolio uh, figure out how you can spread your portfolio whatever it is if it's automotive it's models that get spread uh, you know around the maslow's hierarchy um as because goals of self actualization and esteem are going to get reset so you have to figure out i mean what you are going to stand for if you have a portfolio that helps you the second would be to reimagine the path to purchase to create digitized experiences so that it's only the fulfillment that's happening at the store that is going to be the single biggest challenge because browse and buy is going to decline the third would be to actually start with your own customers build loyalty uh retain retarget and renew them because you have that database you know who these people are so can you think in terms of customer experience rather than customer acquisition and more subscription based value models going forward and prepare yourself for appointment buying and the final thing i would say is customers are looking for something to trust they're looking for brands that go beyond what it means for me to what it means for society so source of origin local artisanry and more inclusive work practices i mean one of the examples that uh, I, i i was talking to ikea recently and one of the examples was what are they doing for the local community of ones who were competition earlier the carpenters and the local furniture makers uh, they were competition to ikea but today if they think of them as an ecosystem and do something together that is probably what the customer is likely to appreciate more uh, so that's it i hope i was within time or yeah Pastor, thanks so much that was uh, very insightful and uh, I, i guess a lot of good messages here for our uh, you know the panel discussion later so now over to you shaker for what your presentation on media and how that is going to influence the consumer uh thank you colin uh, i will request jolly if you can share the screen because i'm going to be needing your help to share the presentation and shaker i would so recommend much. you speak a little louder because yeah know, i will do that yeah. i will do that uh, i've been seeing the pop up from the below which says that uh, thoda hindi mein baat kar sake to acha hoga and some bit of uh, some bit of also being loud main koshish karunga hindi add kare ka beech beech mein but meri uh, hindi utni achhi nahi hai ki i will be able to impress all of you so yeah thank you so much i think uh, somya has uh, set up the context very beautifully uh and uh, and so 
Mea is a sister company of within WPP. So we borrow a lot of data. Kafi sara information counter pe hamare paas aata hai on which we work. We as wave maker, hum log media plans build karte hain and uh, we as wave maker working also across 70 countries. So hamare paas advantage hai ki we have lot of behavior data also. We are seeing some real time behavior changes that are happening. China me kaisa ho raha hai, US me kya ho raha hai. इटली में क्या हो रहा है सो वी हैव टू बिल्ड इन सम एंड डू अ बिट ऑफ अ फॉरवर्ड लुकिंग क्या होने वाला है एंड ऑल ऑफ़ अस वांटिंग यू कैन गो गो टू द द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड बिगेस्ट थिंग दैट आई वांट टू शेयर इज दैट नॉट एवरीथिंग इज डूम अमेज दिस के अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑल्सो यहाँ पे अपॉर्चुनिटी भी है वी आर इन टू पॉइंट ओ जस्ट थिंक ऑफ इट वी आर फ्लाइंग इन अम्बो जेट वी आर थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड फीट सडनली हमें मौका मिला है we can do the entire refixing of the engine apne business ko we can relook at it how do we remodel we are getting that time that in this race how do we actually rethink of a business model that is one thing which is happening very extensively across all categories another thing is that we are seeing uh, how the consumers are behaving the behavior of consumer sitting at home is very different they are consuming more entertainment they are they are more vocal they are connecting more means when have it uh, i don't know whether in past but when have like today we are on this call roughly around 450 people when have we, as a community we have come together and talked and such a group these are big change uh, societal changes that we are seeing it's a i will try to be more louder uh, so there's a and another thing uh, which is happening is influencer i'm sure uh we are spending a lot of time on tiktok instagram all those kind of platforms and we are realizing there's a uh, there's a different role all together this influencers are playing in our life so these are lot of opportunities for all of you to start exploring as we look at this thing another thing that i want to add is then uh, talk about in the next slide is that this is not the first time the world has faced something like this in past हमारे लाइफ में हुआ है मतलब सार्स था देर वॉज अ डिजास्टर ऑफ फुकुशिमा दैट लेड वर्ल्ड वॉर टू फॉर वर्ल्ड वॉर टू फॉर दैट मैटर लॉन्ग बैक एंड मेड्स एंड देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ डेटा विच इज अवेलेबल वट इज दिस थिंग्स शोइंग दैट ये जो फॉल हो रहा है इकोनॉमी में एंड द रिएक्शन दैट वी आर सींग ये दिस इज नॉट स्टेब बेसिकली गॉट अ लास्ट देर इज अ रिकवरी पास एंड द रिकवरी प्रास इज वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग past data that they say it uh, it takes roughly 2 months 3 months after the period and things starts normalizing and another 6 months things start stabilizing ye important ye hai aur hamare liye especially important hai because after the lockdown we are entering a festive period it is very very unique to india and we should keep it in mind because this festive period things will change we will see the spike like the way in south korea mass outbreak we saw that we, we may end up seeing similar kind of a spike that comes in with diwali and we should keep that in mind if you go to the next slide the burning question that will you will have in your mind is therefore practically kya karna chahiye is it the short term abhi kya karu main how do we go back to the battlefield again and uh, how do we review the plans for the future when uh, when you look at the next quarter full year agar dekhte to kya karte hain so if i go to the next slide i just want to break it down for you in three phases uh and the, those are not red red amber and green they are basically what i'm saying the phase on during the outbreak right now what you see is a rocky road people our responsibility right now is all our customers whether it is existing or new how do we put them in at ease including our employees including our system how do we put them at ease second phase is about how do we go to the recovery phase basically this is the point where you start steadying your ship how do we bring back the business normalcy ki taraf jate hain and then third phase where we start actually accelerating and acceleration is a very important part in your planning that i will recommend because uh, one thing is for a fact it will not happen that people will just come back to their own brand just because uh, uh, covid is over hamare kafi sare habits break down hue hain 21 days is a long time 21 days mein log hain अभी अभी 20 uh, अभी 25 पे हैं। so, 20, 21 हो जाते हैं। so, it's very important that we realize that people might have very different behavior. Therefore, demand creation 
will be a very important part how do you reach out is a very important part in that context i want to share at the same time 10 facts with you there are 10 facts which we are and i am calling it specially facts because some are from the uh, reactions that we have got from researchers and some we are seeing right now happening in other countries so i have borrowed from those those facts the first fact that i want to talk to you about is normalcy jo hai after lockdown is not very far china ka data hai this is after roughly 14 days into the lockdown khatam ho gaya hai all markets are back into action first data we looked at is the map data on traffic jam google map jaise dekhte hain unka jo map hai we saw the data the traffic is back all roads are traffic jammed again people are on the road they are driving to their office coming back to their office it's a yeah, it's a very amazing story that people uh, are going back they are stepping out and first signal of uh, prosperous uh, prosperance or in such uh, what i say is that uh, recovery is ki log people are out so that is something we will experience second fact i want to talk to you about is is a concept that i want to talk to you about renewed consumerism a yeah, renewed consumerism is means basically is a very interesting one while a uh, lot of surveys are saying that people will be reluctant of spending but waisa behavior mein nahi dikh raha hai uh, like for example china mein louis vuitton i you know how how expensive louis vuitton bags can be pre covid to now china mein khulne ke baad 14 days kuch hua hai roughly they are close to 80% of sales of louis vuitton pre covid it's a great sign that means people are indulging there's a there's a point that uh, sobhya made that uh, people want uh, which is the second most important after a wedding that people uh, want to treat themselves there is a moment after this lockdown people will like to treat themselves create that opportunity for them because this optimism after the crisis will result in indulgence our opportunity humko china mein dikhta dikh raha hote hue third one that i want to talk to you about is uh, in general lockdown mein kafi sare behavior change ho rahe hain i'm sure you would have done online parties with your family in this period you there, there are date nights that are happening by the way bumble app there's a app called bumble on which uh, there's a huge increase in in video uh, video chats so there are date nights which are happening then there is uh, gaming gaming has gone 500% higher and people are gaming together i'm sure pubg i'm sure you would have spent time on playing pubg people are playing lot of uh, basically gaming as a community even though they are locked down in their own houses another is synchronized streaming this is a new behavior we are seeing like for example all of us in different houses sitting and watching one same movie and they are thinking there are lot of apps which are letting you do that uh, it's called like for example there is something called a netflix party app where you can actually as all friends watch the same movie and chat another thing is touchless economy the ye bahut bada trend which might come and uh, we will experience is that people like people are not ex- exchanging cash also now they are happy to do with wallet or plastic kyunki cash leke wapas jana padega there is a exchange so there is a and it has an impact in our all our life so we have to prepare for this and how do we design uh, ourselves for touchless economy and also create touchless experiences because people may not come face to face experience it with hand how do we create similar kind of experience online another is hyper local delivery which is may not be very relevant for you but what is happening is uh, uh, people are uh, talking to not just swiggy and danzo but whatsapp pe they are creating communities through which they are ordering uh, uh, products at home this is something which is very interesting another one uh, another piece that i think briefly Swami also talked about is that India is likely to have a very similar recovery as China. The uh, our uh, we are and versus America and Europe will have a much bigger problem. So if there are exchange of export and import and your dependency on your business are that you will have to plan to scenarios because there will be part of the world which will recover very slowly and there and there is a part of world which is showing all signals which will recover recover much more faster. another one uh, fifth point that i want to talk to you about yeah not fifth one before that uh, just i am adding to the previous point on luxury items that i talked about uh, uh, which is basically one is that luxury items uh, i may briefly uske bare mein bataya bhi ki how luxury items are uh, 
are basically an escape for everyone and that escape and uh, ability to dream in this period so ye ek psychological point of view se bhi from the consultancies that are coming in they're suggesting that there will be indulgence in luxury items and another side of it is uh, very clearly uh, is uh, okay come let's come to the fifth point thanks dolly uh, fifth point that i want to talk to you about is uh, uh, which is very important for your business hamare all ceos and ctos or digital or chief digital officers or chief technological officers jo companies ko change nahi kar paaye suddenly covid is able to do it what is happening is all big companies or small businesses even small businesses are going through a massive digital transformation in this period this period is where we are able to think and remodel our business i have just pulled out two example louis vuitton believes in very very big showrooms and great experiences at the store here it's very famous for the long lines that typically when you saw the lise pay when you walk down you see outside the uh, store now they are creating shoppable platforms within chat wechat and some of you would have used wechat in india abhi utna use nahi hota hai so assume that on whatsapp we are able to create a shoppable uh, uh, environment to which people are seeing through the catalog and then choosing and buy and another example is loreal loreal is a great business where uh, uh, where they have lot of retail strength they have beauty advisor sitting at all stores consulting people individually that ye makeup lagana chahiye aise dress up hona chahiye ye color use karo those kind of things they are suddenly going and this is something we we, are, we as vemika created for loreal in 10 days within lockdown where we created a entire platform where people are they are training all their beauty advisors to now go online and talk to the consumers how do they basically talk to the consumers and consult them online rather than face to face similar kind of a discussion we are having right now with another business called eureka foods for example you know the people who come down to your home and they fix the water purifier and they also consult how they can go online and start talking so this is the kind of transformation discussion happening another trend that i want to talk to you about is that all shekhar, businesses... shekhar, i'll just come in one shekhar we'll go a little yes. quicker because we're running on time so yeah sorry about it i yeah. think i'm 10 minutes into it yeah. Yeah, okay. as much as i am 10 minutes into it another 3 4 minutes i'll yeah, finish it okay. for sure yeah, okay. thanks yes so uh, another another basically the trend which we are seeing is all businesses are pivoting towards e-commerce and uh, and creating virtual store experiences uh up in your and india is right on top if i say is the number 2 in terms of the e-commerce drive in fact amazon has recently announced in during covid that how they will help local shops to actually go and connect with the buyers tiffany is one great example how they have in last 2 3 years converted their entire model globally on a e-commerce they have their stores last stores but at the same time they have a huge e-commerce uh, leg now and it contributes in double digit to their sales now and another is example is the big brands watch brands like rolex we know how expensive is rolex they have shoppable ads on online now and it's a uh, and they sell next point seventh one thank you uh yes uh this uh, somya talked about authenticity and this is one example that i am sharing which has gone viral in last 15 days is how zakir khan actually narrated a great poetry about ma ke haath ka khana and it has gone massively viral this is a piece of work we as vemaker had done for mother dairy to an extent ambul also acknowledged mother dairy for doing such a great work but uh, the point is that uh when you see authentic stories this has lot of value and what is what basically is a learning for all of us is influencers who are there the instagram influencers not the big tv celebrities now or the film celebrities these influencers have started playing a very big role in uh, building opinion and uh, and it's also leading to a social commerce wahan se not just they are watching and uh, basically borrowing but also people are shopping from them next one and coming down to the uh, in general behavior and very close to media entertainment as such is speaking people are watching 25% more of tv there are 12% more people watching tv today so kafi zara matlab and at the same time when we look at online massive massive increase roughly 40 to 50% increase 
now on all digital platforms whether it is chat whether it is social networking news app gaming or video on demand roughly 40 to 45% increase in entertainment consumption a huge shift which we are seeing in terms of pure consumption because pe- people have more time ghar pe hai time extra hai they are watching more entertainment linked to that is the next point but we are at this we are uh, i borrowed from china see how it is not staying at that when it come when this lockdown is over ye sara fir wapas niche aa raha hai wapas niche aa raha hai lekin interesting part is, is that it's not coming down to the same level ekdam niche nahi aa raha hai still stabilizing at a higher level than the uh, pre covid period so that's which is there so lot of things will again come back to the same old pattern but there will be a new normal see in that new level which is there and linked to that the last point that i want to make to all of you is that it is still very early to call it lekin some trends bahut interesting hai like for example home cooking is still continues to grow log abhi food order pehle se karte rahe ya fir bahar ja ke khate rahe still people are ordering and uh, still cooking at home and uh, eating and it's continuously growing recipe searches have gone sky rocket and ye main after lockdown jaise china market se bol raha hu i'm not taking it from india obviously india has a different trajectory uh people uh, another thing is that ki uh, ola and uber as a trend jo tha may take a bit of a pause and people may buy more their own cars automobile sales will go up in future because they will not like to share space another is ar and vr tech which might be very important for you also uh, in terms of creating virtual experiences they are becoming mainstream rap- rapidly another is uh, basically online videos jo abhi bahut high pe hai wo niche aayega it will not remain the same level but it still will be very high uh, another is the uh, people are right now still very cautious and it will remain for some good time weekend outings nahi rahega for some time and another thing to note is that people will go to office and come back home evening outings are also very very less and this will take some time there is no doubt about it that travel will not flourish for some good time and in fact we have learned that how we can do lot of work without traveling and thanks to this network and thanks to uh, thanks to this technology we are able to do lot of things to come up home that's from my side and i'm just summarizing uh, the last bit which is in the next slide we have to weigh lot of things and plan this is the period to plan build scenarios and prepare for the next uh, the period after the lockdown thank you so much thank you and so I, much baker yes thank you colin thanks shekhar so uh, very insightful uh, somya and shekhar thank you once again for uh, joining us and uh, over to the panelists now i know you all have been waiting patiently and the audience has been uh, you know i guess waiting to hear from you all so uh, dolly can you put up the first question hello first question yeah so uh, you know we keep on talking about gen x millennials gen z i just wanted to take a minute over here that if you look at the baby boomers they are from the uh, you know it's the consumer who was born between 1946 and 1964 i guess most of us uh, belong to gen x which is 1965 and 1980 except for you sachin uh, <laughs> No, I'm Gen X as well, <laughs> and uh, and then we have the millennials. So between Gen X, millennials, and Gen Z, is uh, I guess the consumer in India. So my question was, what would be the impact on the consumer mindset for each of your categories coming out of the COVID nineteen crisis? So we'll start with you, Som. What do you think is going to be the impact on uh, on gold, on gold jewelry, on gold in general coming out? i i i think um, i like the slide uh, which uh, shekhar put last uh, time there will be some changes we are going through a lot of changes now but many of them are forced on us some of these will stick some good habits like you know we will no longer gather for an event and you know uh, we can always just get on this kind of a um, digital mode and do that so some things will stick some things we will we can't wait to get back to our old way of living i don't think we should we should forget that so i like that last chart we will go back 
we are social animals. I don't think uh, we can simply just be distanced from each other. Then what's life about? So uh, in terms of uh, jewelry, therefore, I think there will be uh, lots of changes the way we buy. Uh, but uh, uh, if you look at it three years from now, okay, we would have added certain consumer conveniences in terms of digital, etc. But I don't think overall it will change. I mean, jewelry buying is a beautiful occasion. It is going to be a family driven occasion. I don't think we will take that away just to buy clicks and, uh, uh, you know, uh, music, etc. That's my my take on this. We will see a change, but it will it will go back to normalcy after a couple of year, uh, years. After a couple of years. Yes. So we will see a drop in tonnage consumption. No, I would. I did not talk about uh, tonnage because tonnage can always be maintained by uh, other means. Uh, I'm sure tonnage is going to be affected this year. There is no yeah. need to say that. Yeah, but yeah, this year, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I am just saying that it's not about the tonnage, it's about the way we buy. And, um, uh, you know, and as a World Gold Council, we always say tonnage is also not just about the fashion in gold. It's about the uh, gold is the best performing asset class. So uh, many factors come into the buying decision. I'm not going into that. But I'm just saying as a consumer behavior, approaching jewelry stores, etc., we will see normalcy coming back with a couple of good things from current uh, things. Maybe you will give a design and ask them to be ready with the design. You know, those kinds of things will evolve. Um, so we'll see innovation, I would say. So we'll see innovation, but things will be back to normal on the good Absolutely. Side. Okay. What do you see, Sachin? Well, Colin, I mean, just you said that the different generation from Generation Z, X, whatever you can classify it. Yeah. Where are the changes? I think I want to say to your audience and our audience, that you can see where changes are from three directions. Uh, pehla samay, you say, aajkal, you know, uh, we, the, the meaning of time has changed. It's not a weekend, it's not a weekday, it's all similar, it's all jumbled together. Her, her age bracket is going to differently behave. Karega. A social, I mean, we as, as uh, Somos mentioned, we are social beings. And who her age group is going to impact? Karega. Or tisa, happiness, khushi. You know, we've been in a state of constant pandemic, constant negativity. Usse bahar nikal ke, Se we will attract happiness. And two things will change in my opinion. For example, there will be a complete reassessment of what are things which really matter. You know, and, and things, will be, things will be together in terms of security, in terms of happiness, in terms of, you know, what are real friends, what are real relationship. Kya hai? I think that will, that will uh, see a, a big change. Desire for positivity is, is going to be common across all age groups. If you look at the IPL cancel, the Olympic cancel, you know, I'm just talking about things that give happiness to us. And in her age group, in which regard happiness you know, ek importance will be a change very important. Tell you me, uh, uh, you know, you've been at the forefront of uh, diamonds in, in India. So, uh, what would you say is the top reason, say, a consumer bought a diamond in the last couple of years? Is it investment? Is it romance? Is it? Uh... Well, I think I think uh, you know the Colin uh, Mira Bona is just to uh, you know I would have a slightly different point of view than Shikhar yeah. when he said that uh, you know luxury will be equally impacted because our industry, be it diamond, be it platinum, be it gold, is certainly not luxury. Gold, of course, is certainly not, but diamond also is not luxury. Okay. Ek asset class mentality breaky hai, and with the way we log uh, jab bhi bechte hain, we we'll stand behind the product on on. Not saying that come and uh, you know, liquidate our product. And we've seen last two, two three days maybe gold ka kitna implication tha ke people will come to liquidate. Asa nahi hua. So romance combined with an asset class is the state of India. Agar aap ek family ko bolte hain ki aap jaake Gucci ka ya Louis ka bag khide, ek family feels it's an expense. But when you look at buying jewelry that includes platinum, gold, and diamonds, it's not an expense. It's an asset of the family going. There. So I think that's think this won't change post Corona. I don't will. think that will change, but what will change is the meaningfulness, the permanence. Okay, I should do it now, and less is more will happen. I mean, my point is that you know, आपको आपको क्या meaningfulness है, आपके लिए क्या किसी के साथ behaviour है, all those things evolve, and I think that we'll see a very important change, and no better time than our industry to talk about what we are, these miracles of Mother Nature, जो permanence के reflective हैं. We need to really plan. Okay. 
coming to you vaishali there's a huge difference in the price now between gold and platinum there's this uh, covid which has obviously happened and based on what uh, shekhar and soumya shared with us what do you think will uh, shift in the consumer's mind in terms of platinum i mean you've been uh, you know and i guess uh, most of the indians have been brainwashed into the pure rare eternal uh, story of platinum so what do you think changes or doesn't change uh colin you see our consumer base is millennials and younger okay so there are a few ch- differences i will say you know from what um, you know we heard is and this is again a cantar research itself that these young ones are actually more optimistic and resilient and we've seen it time and time again they they bounce back faster even now you know the large part of them and 75% they are very optimistic even now when we are in the in the lockdown so post covid the bounce back of this uh, consumer set is going to be much faster so you are saying what will change i think you know you know um, sachin has touched upon it i think and he's been talking and i completely agree with him because what will change is they will they will want meaning and we are seeing this across all research anything whatever you are reading is that they want to enrich their lives they are seeking meaning this is really important in their lives and this will determine the choices they make and there there is going to be a celebration because there is this feeling intense feeling of gratitude post covid because you know mindsets are shifting currently we are in a lockdown when we get out of this lockdown minds mindsets will shift and that is where there is this gratitude and positivity that you come through this kind of a, a situation and you want to celebrate you will want to celebrate you will want to celebrate the relationship to become really important to you your family or your life you want to celebrate life and for us with as an industry this is just absolutely critical because jewelry is completely intrinsically connected to the celebration and we mustn't forget that and you know as sachin says it is an asset class but also it is all about these emotions we need to be authentic very very important because without authenticity and trust will be this is now going to be a mandate it's no longer nice to have so therefore you know the point is that if we can really focus on building these emotions aspirations and and jewelry is always where do you find this kind of store of value you talked about the platinum price the intrinsic value of the metal remains the same it is one of the most precious and rare metal today it's at a price so accessible so it actually creates inclusivity that uh, somya was talking about what is this inclusivity so you don't have to become totally exclusive you can have multiple price points you can bring people in so you know we have to look at these uh, shifts that are taking place and see how we can make them business ideas because they're sitting there waiting for us okay so fair point so you know uh, further to i think what all three of you all are saying that uh, authenticity becomes uh, extremely important trust in the brand becomes very important now uh, i guess i'm uh, lucky over here in one way that all three of you all are not retailers and since all the three of you all aren't uh, retailers uh, what would you think uh, retailers in india globally what do you think they need to do to become more authentic and let's make it a little more specific you know you, you all know uh, you know i guess uh, everybody there is in india so and even globally uh, between the three of you all you all uh, are in touch with retailers practically all over the world so when you compare our uh, industry and the retail uh, brand with retailers in other industry you think we match up in terms of authenticity if yes then that answers the question and if no then what do you think the gap is that what is it that our retailers need to bridge to become more authentic more trustworthy more credible 
and uh, we don't have to go in the same order vaishali you can you can start this time okay. what do you feel what do you think our brands need to do um overall you know i'm going to quote a point from bain bain study huh? where they've said ethics is as important as aesthetics i think this stands so true for our industry so i think transparency and will be the badge of authenticity that you know uh, uh somi i touched upon it and says say what you do that's it vaishali i'll just interrupt you over here just, huh. just on on transparency and i'm just being uh, you know the advocate over here uh our retail fraternity feels that we are already over regulated we have all parking we have a diamond certificate we have a pgi certificate like what do you mean when you say uh transparency how much more transparent can one be in our uh, product see trans there are there are certain yes we know that there are uh, certifications that have been given and uh, and all marking platinum is there gold is there diamonds is there forever mark has a mark so these are tools so these are tools that are really important so transparency and and my question to you therefore is there is there an adoption of this right of this industry is is this is this what they will wear on their sleeves literally is this something that they will stand behind and invest into because that is what transparency is authenticity you know what you say is what you do and you say what you do and you do what you say so you know i'm saying in everything that you do that that has to be up front and you have to stand behind it you have to stand behind your product all of us do you know so you have to stand uh, you know you have to stand for the quality experience your brand per se and behavior see a brand and all our retail every everybody is a brand you know how brands will conduct themselves will be important to these consumers okay right no. sachin what do you feel colin i i will answer this question uh, in a slightly more manner which is right now main bahut philosophical long term nahi bolunga main bolunga jo abhi karna chahiye aap jo bolte hain aap authentic hain bolo puri zindagi aapne generations ke mein bola hai ki we you know i am standing there aaj samay khade khade hone ka hai behind your consumers behind your product behind your employees behind your carriers सो so, मेरा एक ही एडवाइस होगा सारे ज्वेलर्स को कि अगर कई जेनरेशन से कस्टमर ने आपके यहाँ आपके यहाँ से खरीदा है तो देर बी लॉट ऑफ डिस्कशन ओवर द लास्ट फाइव वीक्स हेयरिंग कि भाई रिटर्न लेंगे नहीं लेंगे कॉन्वर्सेशन करेंगे नहीं करेंगे आई मीन देर लॉट ऑफ डिस्कशन शुड बी स्टैंड बिहाइंड पीपल आई थिंक दिस इज द टाइम टू स्टैंड ओके आपका आपके जवान की जो फर्क है आई मीन द वर्ड दैट यू स्टैंड फॉर इज नाउ यू बी वेन बी सेव यू आर वन इंडस्ट्री वी डूंग गुड फॉर द इंडस्ट्री this is the time to stand for the carriers of the industry and and agar and i know you know and i can be candid with you also colin because you know uh, the fact is that at times there a lot of arm twisting we do in our industry if i am a bigger guy or a smaller guy this is the time to be putting yourself in the shoes of your supplier and other people so that you know in the long run you will build so much of reputation and so much of credibility that the entire industry will filter out who the right people are who are not so keeping your word would be your uh, okay. you know. so what do you say to this uh, colin uh, our uh, uh, biggest uh, issue so far has been to be able to categorize our consumers yes uh, you know we have seen when tanish came and promised uh, you know purity and many of these uh, big chains have now entirely operate on the basis of Uh, integrity and all that stuff you do a lot of people going there there's no doubt about it but you also see a lot of others who just don't value all this right when you go and uh, look at the way they buy gold etc they just want as much gold as possible doesn't matter what the jeweler does in fact they are very happy the jeweler takes care of all the bureaucracy somehow gets them a gold without uh, on cash and without a bill okay a great uh, you know service for the i i think that number is not small so my um, uh, thing is and you said the point that gold i mean this jewelry and all is over regulated yes it is regulated but at the executive level it doesn't 
really. You know, we know hallmarking centers, but we know, uh, do we really rely on hallmarking centers? I wouldn't know about the diamond thing, but I, so I'm not commenting on that. But we have more regulations, but uh, we are less regulated, in my opinion. So I, I, having said that, I would say that it is. This is, in my opinion, not going to change dramatically post COVID. Uh, we still will see. We saw what happened with uh, liquor. The moment it opened, you know, people just uh, breached all uh, uh, distancing norms. So that's why I said when we get back to normalcy, I do believe some good things will stick. But unless coerced, we will still go back to our old uh, ways of dealing. There is a risk, I would say. So unless there is a catalyst now in terms of either. Separate kind of regulation to be how to do it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We may miss the benefits we we could derive from this. I am not. You are saying we need more regulation. But I would say that better regulation. I better wouldn't regulation. say more regulation. Better. better, less is better sometimes. But execution enforcement has to be of a different order. Don't forget, people were paying thirty-two thousand rupees for ten grams of gold. Now they are paying fifty thousand rupees. I mean, that's a lot of money. Your incomes haven't gone up that way. So you're saying better regulation, but is there anything that the jeweler can do himself or herself, rather? Well, as I said, we—I uh, mean, we are all sitting in the uh, retail gold investment principles. We can all come together. We need to speak in with one voice and tell the consumer, get this experience. This is trust. Now you ask for what you want. All of us should get together, which is what we are all trying. I mean, a code, a code of conduct, whatever you may call it. We call it retail gold investment principles. Under that, the code of conduct, but rigorously enforced. Rigorously enforced. So now is the time to come together. Absolutely. Now is the time. So further to uh, that, what your, you know, what you said, so is, uh, and uh, I guess Shaker and Soumya also touched on it a lot. Is this whole uh, digital landscape? And the change which has uh, with digital has got into all our lives, uh, you know, as you all, I think all three of you all know, and our industry has not been, I guess, the most uh, digital, you know, for uh, a variety of reasons. Actually, uh, it's because uh, we've not been able to adopt uh, tech very quickly. Uh, most of the viewers are, say, uh, you know, my generation or uh, you know, one generation above, and they've not been able to adopt uh, tech. As much as maybe they should have. So uh, the question over here would be that again, like further to what you said, coming together, and that's where I thought I could pick on uh, what you said over there, is that what is it that the industry you think can do to come together on the whole digital artificial intelligence this space? Because I guess none of the companies individually have the capacity to to do this. You know, because it costs a lot of money. I mean, everyone can do social media. So if you see a little bit of uh, Facebook, Instagram, you know, all that, yes, people can tweet. But uh, if we have to change the whole uh, experience on how, uh, you know, and so I would ask you this: that if if, uh, if they have to change the experience and have more credibility in the pricing of gold, in uh, how gold can be uh, a good investment, if I can, uh, you know, be candid enough to say that. Then, what do you think we should do? You see, uh, these thoughts were there before COVID as well. Let me make that very clear. See, these are on new generated now. Uh, but clearly, uh, we need to we need to just uh, um, first of all understand that when you say digital, it's not just about the consumer experience. You have to be seen as an industry which has adopted digital in a big way. Now, you can't say I am digital, but you know what? You know, carry 100,000 cash, right? 200,000 cash or 500,000 cash, you know, just give me coins if possible, you know, that kind of stuff. We just need to see all aspects of our, uh, uh, you know, activities and make sure that it is digital. We still have to, uh, I mean, we have problems. Let me tell you, I'm not uh, suggesting here. We even have a problem on gold bar integrity. You know? Tra tra traceability of gold bars. We have been resisting all the things which uh, probably could have helped us. And we can't say one part of it which is you know, what the consumer needs, I'll be digital and be considered greatly savvy. My point is you have to look, look at it holistically. 
there are lots of technologies out there you need to give consumer benefit and uh, uh, you know vaishali talked about uh, transparency and you know authenticity saumya spoke about it now authenticity comes when i know where my gold is coming from now consumer may not know it now but then let us provide a digital tracking thing your gold which you are holding now comes from tirupati uh, you know uh, thing i'm just giving an example just imagine if i say this jewelry has been made with tirupati gold remelted great idea if at all you get uh, a tirupati gold i'm just saying okay. so we need to adopt it holistically not just look at one piece of a customer interface in the store that's my point okay so with keeping uh, you know the backdrop of uh, the consumer and the changing consumer sachin what do you think uh, is the next steps in diamonds in the digital landscape i think uh, uh, colin i think that as a retailer jo puri hamari industry hai pehle samjhe ke you know uh, digital me kai prakar ki cheeze hain jaise e-commerce hai social media aapne mention kiya website search ye bahut alag alag subjects hain start your journey right first and foremost jaise ek zamana tha ke hum logon ne sabne website www.com khol liya tha ye just that we don't miss the bus i think the idea now is that with this post lockdown we've been pushed towards technology जैसे अभी इन द प्रीवियस स्पीकर स्वामी हाउस मेंशन कि कंज्यूमर को एक हैबिट है हो गई है इट्स नॉट गोइंग एनीवेयर इट्स अ परमानेंट स्टेट ऑफ माइंड वी नीड टू गेट रेडी सो एंड देयर इज आल्सो दिस होल कांसेप्ट ऑफ यू नो दैट दैट माय वेबसाइट शुड बी फिनोमेनल बट माय ब्रांड इज परहैप्स नॉट मैचिंग सो ये पूरा ओमनी चैनल का कांसेप्ट है जिसमें आपका ब्रांड जैसा है वैसा ही कंज्यूमर को दिखना चाहिए ऑथेंटिकली द द कांसेप्ट ऑफ ऑथेंटिसिटी दैट इवन विशाली मेंशन तो डिजिटल स्पेस में वो बहुत ट्रांसपेरेंट आप प्लीज कंज्यूमर को फूल करने की कोशिश ना करें कि आपको या रिटेल कहीं है आपकी प्राइसिंग कहीं है आपका डिजाइन कहीं है और आप डिजिटली एक अपने आप को कुछ और दिखा रहे हैं इट शुड बी एब्सोल्युटली कंसिस्टेंट फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट एंड सेकंडली यू नो दिस इज द फ्यूचर वे ऑफ लाइफ आप इसमें इन्वेस्टमेंट करें इट इज नॉट ऑप्शन कि ठीक है जी मैं मेरा मेन मीडिया में एक्सपेंडिचर होगा या मेरी बिजनेस प्लानिंग एक्सपेंडिचर होगा जिसमें मैं ऐड दूंगा पेपर में मगर यू नो लेट मी आल्सो डू वन ऐड इन सोशल मीडिया दैट्स नॉट आवर टू you have to give proper semblance to digital now because this will become a formal habit see the front end consumers ka for back end mein mai so, so jo som ne mention kiya who i completely validate karunga in the sense i support him in the point that tracking and you know where your product is coming from ye aaj ke date mein optional hai magar agar aap ye cheez provide karenge customer ko this is your cutting edge aur ye future mein norm hone wala hai so blockchain technologies are coming in very fast so front end and back end there's lots to do please go and do it the idea is to move okay and vaishali what do you think will be happening on the platinum front when it comes and, to you know calendar or that what i guess so men such an episode yeah you know i think we are talking anyway platinum talks to the young audience they are uh, the core user group of a uh, digital uh, thus far right but what we've seen now is because of the situation we been there is a larger group of people who are now on digital right just because of the situation and, and the circumstances now they are learning they're getting comfortable with the space they are feeling safe with the space so now these behaviors are here to stay so people if they were doing you know some amount of uh, search report and some evaluation report and go getting into the stores for the final right now they're doing the whole process online and then fulfillment may be delivered to you so it, there are big big shifts that have that have started taking place and this will only get accelerated going forward now so and digital when you talk digital there is one part which is digital marketing and yes we need to do it because now that uh and that you know sort of covers the entire spectrum from you know giving information to to creating desire and demand where we were talking about being authentic if credible information the consumer is seeking that online but equally important is how are you going to deliver it and this will have as sachin was mentioning it is an it's a channel strategy omni channel uh, you know this is going to happen also important i think is for our industry is to use this this fact that people are moving digital to understand their consumers with them you know we 
what is the data that we have on our consumers? Do we really know what they like? What are they buying? What are they going to buy in the future? Can we do some kind of uh, predictability for demand? These will help us as a business. Because we, if we understand what has been their buying pattern, what is what is it, what, we can at least predict demand for the future. It is very, very important. CRM, very important going forward. These are going to be things that are going to shift the business. Back end, I cannot agree more with Soam and uh, Sachin to say back end has to be there. You know, where things like, as, as we talked about before, ethics, if we talk about ethics, if we talk about social consciousness, if we talk about sustainability, they're tiny now, but this is going to grow rapidly because this is all the part of authenticity and trust. Okay, so coming, I guess, to my last question and, uh, you know, I guess every retailer that I've probably spoken to, he has this uh, dilemma in his mind and like uh, I guess uh, Henry Ford said is stopping advertising to save money is like stopping your watch to save time. So that's a question every retailer has been asking that in times like this and especially post lockdown when uh, families are in this uh, health crisis and people are thinking of uh, saving themselves and you know the lives of all their near and dear ones. Is it uh, I guess and I wouldn't say the word ethical but is it even relevant for a jewelry brand to be spending on advertisement right now? Should he stay silent this Diwali or should he spend? So I guess uh, anybody, Sachin, you want to go first this time? Yeah, so Colin, I think uh, first and foremost, if we are silent, it will be the biggest mistake. This is the time even Swamina resonated with me. This is the time to stay connected to the consumer. Now, connected to the consumer does not mean that you can add that you can buy so much money. So blatant advertising of saying, come and buy my product should be postponed for a little bit. We have to step in the minds of consumer, but stay connected. And, and I would do both. I would preserve some bit of cash because you have to be watchful. Jab market khulega, us samay hamar par resources hone chahiye. And also, you know, it was mentioned by Shekhar that when things will revive, at that time, resources should not be the issue. When it's time for good to go, you should be good to go. But only those people who succeed will stand for meaning, for authenticity, which as Vishalini mentioned here. And but most importantly, it's important to stay connected. Look at long term. Don't look at the, you know converting everything tomorrow morning. We've been in a long term business. Consumer is in for long term. If you put your brand, you know, offer, or you know, I think you know it might not be the best time. We have to hold on a little bit uh, in terms of what our content has to be. Okay. Vaishali, what do you feel? What should brands do? Yeah, right now. See, there is right now where we are in a lockdown and semi-lockdown and then there is life after this, after the lockdown. Right yeah. now, you can't go dark. I think there is enough and more research on this to say that brands who are going dark now then just shutting down are going to really suffer because consumers want to stay engaged. Mm. And as Sachin said, you don't give them promo offers. You don't start selling products. But it is about offering optimism, support, engaging with them. They are people. Engage with them as people and stop engaging with them as customers or consumers. That's now. And when the market reopens, be sure to create demand. And this is for the whole industry because demand is not just going to walk into your store. We, if we don't create demand, we might lose the consumer when they are making new choices. Jewelry is in a very strong position, but we have to keep it that in the new normal that we are talking about when the consumer is making new choices. Jewelry has to be integral part of their lives as it is today, and that will need demand creation. So I would say that you have to have resources. You have to put in marketing, marketing for discretionary and even if jewelry is not completely discretionary, but Marketing for our kinds of category is going to be essential to get back the demand and long term build it because there is a lot of potential. Okay. So, what do you feel? What should jewelers do this Diwali? Uh, I think, uh, look, uh, it should not be zero labor charges come and buy. Let's not forget our advertisement has been only that kind of thing. I think it's bet better to stop those. 
just present yourself as a good brand i think you should keep talking to consumers and uh, there are ways of marketing i'm sure uh, you know experts will say it's not marketing is not about selling you are marketing so you should stay in the minds of consumers by spreading relevant messages which will link your brand with what you are doing in the current situation and for this people are going to buy let's not forget i mean there will be uh, there are people still having money they will come and buy you should be relevant to them so targeted advertising and more about other activities in marketing i wouldn't suggest that they should stay off but staying off i would suggest zero labor charges you know uh, gold in diwali in may 2019 2020 prices i think they are better stopped <laughs> I so agree. Rele so one hundred percent. For uh, once and for all, let's stop looking at just promotions, short-term promotions. <laughs> so more about uh, emotion, I guess, yes. and less about uh, price. Promotions, yes. yes. So uh, just to summarize, I, I hope this was uh, very insightful for our uh, audience. Thank you, Soumya and uh, Shaker, for those uh, wonderful presentations. uh thank you sachin vaishali som for your time and support always and i'm sure you all are all going to do whatever it takes to keep the demand going to keep all us uh, manufacturers going and keep all the retailers going uh, in 2020 uh, having said that i just wanted to end with uh, you know a small video which we will show to you all and another message which i wanted to give to all our viewers is that uh, while we been doing these uh, webinars and uh, whatever it takes at uh, gtpc to keep the the spirit going we've also been trying extremely hard to get exports started on the diamond front on the jewelry front we've got on surat and jaipur started a little bit partially and we hopefully will get even mumbai uh, started very soon so just uh, keep the faith i hope you all had a splendid time and we'll just end with this video so i would recommend that it's a very interesting video which uh, you know sachin was kind enough to you know uh, forward to me and uh, on that happy note but very thanks to allan i think you really doing a great job and really getting all of us together most periodically so great job i think it's it's really important right now and, yeah uh, i really value it thank you colin yeah you are welcome yeah enjoyed being on the panel colin thanks yeah uh, dolly will you play the video now? First opened our doors since 1926. Since 1978. For 60 years. For 75 years. For over 80 years. In 90 years. For over 100 years. Nationwide has been on your side. Restaurants have always been there for you. Nissan has been with you through thick and thin. We will do what we've always done. Take care of people. We're people. 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 Family. 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 Even now, especially now, especially now. Right now. Now more than ever. More than ever. Today, more than ever. Today, more than ever. Times like this. At times like difficult times. In these troubled times. Challenging times. Trying times. In these times of uncertainty. During this time of great uncertainty. During these uncertain times. During these uncertain times. Uncertain times. In uncertain times. Uncertain times. Unprecedented times. Unprecedented times. Unprecedented times. This unprecedented moment in our history. Time of social distancing. While things have slowed down. As we turn more inside. While the doors may be closed. While the distance between us has gotten bigger. The more we stay apart, we still find ways to stay close. 
even when we're apart. Even if we can't stand closer than six feet. We can all stay connected to work, school, and most importantly, to each other. There's still ways to touch each other. All without leaving the comfort and safety of your home. Without leaving the safety of your home. From home. 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 That's the key. Buick and GMC are here to help. Con Edison is here to help. Here to help. Our teams are here. We are here. We're here. We're here. Here for you. We're here for you. We're here for you. We're here for you. We are here for you. We're here for you. We are here for you. We'll be here for you. Bunnings is here for you. We're still here for you. We're with you. We're part of your community. So you can trust us. You can count on us. And we'll get through this. Together. 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 Okay, so on that happy note, uh, bye everyone and thank you once again. And like uh, I guess they said, we'll get through this together. Bye.